Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's talk to head coach Tyson McLaughlin of Ottawa Glendor. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. With me on the phone right now is Ottawa Glendorf head coach Tyson McLaughlin. Uh, coach, welcome to the Selection Show. Glad to have you on today. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. So just taking a look at, the, uh, at your bracket, kind of giving things set up, uh, how, are you, how do you feel about the, the draw so far? You guys have a, a first-round bye once again this year. Well, you know, it's a tournament. It's, it's hard to believe that's already here, but, uh, you know, we're happy to be where we're at, and, you know, it's going to be a lot of good teams, so you just got to take one game at a time. Are there any, I, I know you, you coaches don't tip to go too far into advance of looking at matchups, but, you know, just kind of taking a look at the bracket and the way of things laying out, laying out, is there uh, anything that you see that would be a, a particular challenge for you guys as you try and uh, get back to Lima Senior for district? Every game's a challenge, and especially in the tournament, there's so much on the line. you got to take one game at a time, and our guys understand that. And, you know, there's a lot of good teams and a lot of good coaches, and they're going to be out there ready to prepare and take your best shot. So, you know, it's one, one game at a time. Every game matters. Good answer, Coach. Good, good answer. That's a good one, Tyson. Hey, you're, you're, you guys lost last year against Archibald. What did, did that add fuel to the fire and wanting to get back and wanting to be uh, you know, competitive and, and make a run again? Did, did, does that factor a lot into how you guys prepare for the season? Well, I think it gives you motivation in the off season. Our kids, uh, that was a tough loss for us. Uh, our guys set their goals very high, and that was a roadblock that you know we stumbled on. And I think we got a lot of guys coming back that uh, have that in their minds. And hopefully, we can go out there and you know make a run and you know see how far we can go. Is there any additional pressure that you feel as a coach? Because it seems like every time this year, as we get further into March, we're usually talking about Ottawa Glendorf in a district final, making their way to regionals. You know, you, you guys usually are in that that rarefied air here in West Central Ohio. Does that add any pressure to what you do day in and day out as a coach? I don't think so. I think we embrace that. You know, we understand that there's a bullseye every once in a while, but I think the, the best way to approach that is, you know, taking a stride. And we talk to our guys all the time that, you know, we, we plan to be playing for a WBL championship and, you know, playing in the district final. That's our goal. And then anything after that's kind of icing on the cake. It, but our, our expectations are high, and we don't shy away from that. How difficult is it to get your guys up and ready to go for a basketball game? This is kind of just a general coach question. Now that you know what your draw is, you know, it's kind of set. We're getting ready to the playoffs. Is there more difficulty for you as a coach to get your kids up and ready to, to play basketball? Or are, are they really laser focused in on making sure they, they claim that WBL crown in a couple weeks? Oh, our guys are focused on that WBL title. And we talk to our guys all the time about, you know, that's our first goal. And, we're in a position to, to take care of that if we win our next two games. And, you know, we talk to our guys all the time. It's okay to be greedy when you're talking about a WL title. We don't want to, we don't want to share it. We want to go out there and uh, get it outright. And in order to do that, we got to be focused every night. That's awesome, Coach. Uh, also, real quick, so you've had a lot of guys that have stepped up. You know, Ogan Heagle's had a pretty good season for you. Uh, talk about some of your other, your, your senior and your just leaders in general. How, how proud are you of you kids that have stepped up and really done um, a great job just overall in improving their games this season? Oh, this is a great group of guys. This is probably the close group that we've had in a long time, and uh, they pull for one another. Ethan White's one of those guys that it's a three-year starter for us, but kind of goes under the radar, but he does all the little things, and, uh, you know, he's just tough as nails. And, you know, Carter Herringhouse is having a great season for us, and, you know, we got, we got six seniors, and uh, all of them play a different role, and all of them are very important to what we do. And, you know, I'm just happy that they're having the success, and hopefully we can continue this for another month and a half. Ottawa and Glendorf head coach Tyson McLaughlin. Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck in the playoffs. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with more here on the WOSN postseason selection show. Stay with us.